Time heaven to rise, 8 o'clock on Monday, February 24, 2014. Please rise and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, counselors. Uh, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Joseph Consov, 292 Field Street, Brockton, for the Brockton Redevelopment Authority for a five-year term ending February 2019. That matter is referred to finance. Appointment of Richard Wernick, 8 Madrid Square, Brockton, to the Board of Park Commissioners, five-year term ending February 2019. That, too, is referred to finance. Appointment of David Wheeler, 140 Bishop Street, to the Planning Board for a five-year term ending February 2019. Referred to finance. Appointment of Charles F. Studensky, 56 Manors Avenue, Brockton, to the Board of Park Commissioners for five-year term <coughs> ending February 2019. Also referred to finance. Appointment of Henry Tatalia, 33 Brook Street, Brockton, to the License Commission for three-year term ending February 2017. That is referred to finance. Appointment of Richard E. Bath, 38 Frost Street, Brockton, as a trustee of the War Memorial Building for three-year term ending February 2017. Referred to finance. The appointment of Adeline Charnell, 30 Forster Street, Brockton, the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals, three-year term ending February 2017. Referred to finance. The appointment of Laurie Monaghan, 174 Monument Avenue, Minard Street, as a trustee of the Brockton War Memorial Building for a three-year term ending February 2017. That, too, is referred to finance. The appointment of Mark Lindy, 83 Rangeley Avenue, Brockton, to the Board of Trustees, Brockton Public Library, for three-year term ending February 2017. Referred to finance. The appointment of Miles Jackson, 25 Stearns Avenue, Brockton, trustee of the Wall Memorial Building, three-year term ending February 2017. That also is referred to finance, Councillors. President. Councillor. This time I'd like to move to move number 11 to the table. Second. Motion has been made properly, second to the table. There's no discussion on it. The matter is uh, now comes for a vote relative to tabling. All in favor of tabling? All opposed? A motion carries, Council. Thank you. Thank the matter is tabled. The report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of February 18, 2014. That's accepted and placed on file, Councilors. We have a communication from the CFO informing the City Council that as of February 18, 2014, the amount of $35,000 is available for transfer because of unfilled vacancy in the budgeted position in the <coughs> Finance Department. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, <coughs> recommending a transfer of $11,864 from the Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to Mayor's Department Personal Services other than overtime in order to restore the funding pay and separation costs to the staff members of Mayor Linda Belzotti. That is also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO informing the City Council that as of February 18, 2014, the amount of $35,000 is available for transfer because of unfilled vacancy in a budgeted position in the Finance Department. That, too, is accepted and placed on file, Councilors. Communication from the, CFO, uh, from the Mayor, in accordance with Mass General Laws, recommending the transfer of $23,004 from Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to Mayor's Department Personal Services other than overtime in order to provide additional financing for the present members of the Mayor's staff for fiscal 2014. One staff member will be transferred to the payroll to fill an existing vacancy in the Safe and Successful Youth Initiatives Grant for a portion of the balance of the fiscal year. This will reduce the previously required amount of funding. That is accepted and placed on file, Council. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Application from the Executive Director of the Parking Authority requesting the transfer of $3,000 from parking meter reserve fees to Parking Authority Purchase of Services to fund the lease of parking lot on Petronelli Way in order to accommodate demand for parking. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. We have an appropriation of $7,000 from the Planning Department, Ordinary Maintenance, to Personal Services Overtime. <clears throat> In Council, February 10th, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, could you please read the roll? 
Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Counsel, the appropriation is hereby adopted. Transfer $15,000 from building department full time to personal services overtime for unexpected expenses for emergency calls during the evenings and weekends due to aging city buildings along with severe weather and emergency calls from fire police for after hours inspectional services. In council, February 10th, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Counsel, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Transfer is hereby adopted. Transfer $10,000 from Planning Department Personal Services, other than overtime, to the Board of Health purchase services to fund unanticipated expenditures. The transfer will pay for the services of two nurses. And Council February 10th, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Councils, the transfer is hereby adopted. Order that the city hereby accepts the provisions of Mass General Laws Chapter 40U, enacted as Chapter 26 of the Acts of 2010, an act relative to unpaid municipal fines. In Council February 10th, 2014, <coughs> referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councils, questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ineri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. So, uh, the uh, order is hereby adopted. An appropriation of $37,916.10. Consulting stipend $17,314.50. Sale of sick days earned. $20,601.60 from the fiscal 2014 budget. Police personal services, other than overtime, is currently appropriated to pay the fiscal 2014 cost of the agreement between the City of Brockton, the Brockton Police Supervisors Union, and former Chief Emanuel Manny Gomes. In Council, February 10, 2014, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council Stadensky. Mr. President, I'd like to. Uh suggest that we make an amendment to this where it says consulting stipend. I, I firmly believe this should read salary difference. Mm -hmm. Is there second. a second on that, Councilors? Second. Motion has been made, properly seconded, to change the verbiage from... Uh, Mr. President, can I get more information why that change is needed, what that means exactly, please? Councilor Stansky. Through you. Certainly. The reason, the reason for this, this amount and, and this verbiage, the way it's written, is that the party was demoted. He was moved down from chief to captain. There's a difference in the amount of funds he's paid. Uh, I just see nothing. I see nothing. I've been told there's going to be something going on. Well, that's a constant, constant. The only reason this is done is because of the pay difference. It's not to give him extra money. It's to make up the difference of a contract that he had the right to have. That's why I'd like to see it change that way. Counsel, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, legal counsel has advised us that we couldn't change uh, the verbiage. The only thing we could do here, because it's the mayor's appropriation, is change the dollar amount. Uh, but the actual uh, stated consulting stipend verbiage, <coughs> we don't have the authority per se to change that. Well, with that, Mr. President, I appreciate that from yourself and Mr. Counsel. And I would remove the motion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Councilors, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <coughs> and in the affirmative. The appropriation is hereby adopted. An appropriation of funds up to $1 million in excess of amounts already appropriated for DPW highway snow removal. In Council, February 10, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, is the question on adoption uh, by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read uh, the roll. Azak. Yes. 
Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Denapi. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy Affirmative. The order is hereby adopted, councils. Order that the DPW is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection once all necessary city permits are approved for the property owned <coughs> by Lars and Margaret Johnson and located at the corner of North Carey Street and Thayer Avenue. Parcel ID 161 116, plot number 107 Carey, book page 05392 00422. In Council February 10th, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. <coughs> yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Councils, the order is hereby adopted. But that the City Council approves the boundaries of the proposed Vincentes Tropical Economic Opportunity Area is display, displayed on the attached map. Exhibit A, more particularly, described as Assessor's Map 52, Route 040, Plot 9, at 160 Pleasant Street, <coughs> and approved the application for approval of the Vincentes Tropical EOA to the EACC in Council February 10th. 2014. Refer the Committee on Finance. Every put is favorable. Councilors, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Financially. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is hereby adopted. Councilor. Uh, yes. On number 30, uh, Mr. President, I just want to be clear. This just indicates pretty much just the area. Um, plot 9 on Pleasant Street. Are we clear that that is for actually Vincente's rest, um, uh, business? For Vincente. Does the TIF go with the lot or does it go with the business? I guess I'm just trying to make sure I'm clear. Constance, it actually goes with, with the business itself. Okay, because it's not. But, but the lot, the with lo the land. With the yeah, land yeah. and the business itself. But, but the, um, the assessor's map and, and plot number uh, coincides with the previous order 29. Okay, I just so want to make sure that. Yep, okay. good question. It is, is indeed uh, Vicente's property. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Resolved that the City Council hereby authorizes a tax increment financing TIF plan encompassing the property described as Assessor's Map 52, Plot 9, Pleasant Street, in Council February 10, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <coughs> Council, the order is hereby adopted. Resolved that the Executive Director of the Board of Health be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to discuss possible regulations relative for frying oil management and disposal systems and restaurant operation management technology that would protect the public from a spill such as was recently discussed by the Council and that would increase employee safety in Council January 27, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. <coughs> yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Constance, the uh, matter is hereby adopted. Resolved that the representatives from the Coalition of Social Justice, the Green Justice Coalition, and the local utility companies come before the Finance Committee to discuss and outline the protocols, purpose, and desired goals associated with proposed energy initiatives and opportunities within the Commonwealth to discuss the viability of increasing residential, small businesses, and municipal energy efficiency programs outreach in the city of Brockton, and to report sufficient program data to allow for assessment of the program's effectiveness and to grant municipal officials access to detailed program data. In Council, to January 27, 2014, refer to the Council on Finance, Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. <coughs> yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. <coughs> yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And the matter is hereby adopted, Councils. 
Resolved that Mayor Carpenter be invited to appear before the next Finance Committee meeting, 2-3-14, to, uh, to, uh, to enumerate the number and staff positions that are currently in need of reappointment and discuss his plan for reappointing each staff position that is currently overdue for reappointment, including but not limited to the positions of Building Commissioner, DPW Commissioner, Treasurer Collector. In Council, January 27, 2014, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's <coughs> question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. No. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine <coughs> affirmative, one of the negative. Constance, that matter is adopted. Resolved that the Mayor, Chief Financial Officer, and the Personnel Director be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to discuss the impact of the residency law and to review the recommendations of the DOR to repeal the residency ordinance. In Council, January 13, 2014, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. <coughs> Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Yes. Athlete. No. Pioneer. No. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Six in the affirmative, four in the negative. Uh, the matter is hereby adopted, Councils. Transfer of $11,864 <coughs> from Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to Mayor's Department Personal Services other than overtime. That's uh, referred to Finance, Councils. Uh, Mr. President, Counselor. I don't know if it's appropriate right now, but number 39, does that also go with 11? Can that be tabled as well? When we get there, Counselor, oh, it will okay. be addressed. Absolutely. Sure. Thank you. <coughs> Transfer $3,000 from the <coughs> parking meter reserve fees to Parking Authority Purchase of Services to fund the lease of parking lots on Petronelli Way in order to accommodate demand for parking. Counselor, that's referred to finance. Transfer $23,004 from Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to Mayor's Department Personal Services other than overtime. Constance, that also is referred to Finance Committee. Ordered that the City Council hereby establishes the application fee required by ordinance to be $1,500, regulating the location of medical marijuana cultivation, harvesting, dispensing, and other related activities as allowed by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Councilors, that matter is referred to Finance Committee. This one will be no granted. Number 39, Councilors, was tabled uh, uh, as per number 11. Uh, Councilors, is there uh, any matters before us relative to personal uh, privileges? By my, Mr. By my, Mr. President, just have a moment of personal privilege. Yes, sir. Just, I just want to uh, let everybody know that the ordinance meeting has been set for Tuesday evening, March 18th, 2014, 6 p.m. right here in the council chambers. Again, Tuesday evening, March 18th, 2014, right here at 6 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Bonds. Yes, if I could, um, I just want to announce that Saturday, this Saturday, the 1st of March, the Downtown Brockton Association, uh, in conjunction with USA Christmas Town and uh, John Marion's Tuxedo, Tuxedo by Marion, we are holding a Come and Get Your Love and a Winter Bash celebration, Shake Off the Snow, at the War Memorial Building. This is actually the inaugural uh, event to reintroduce the War Memorial to the community for community events and as, as a venue. And um, it's $50. Tickets are available online. Um, face, there are Facebook pages for it. I can't think of them offhand, but um, they are there. It is uh, Come and Get Your Love, March 1st. And also, oh, actually, that's from 7 to 11. And also on March 8th, Brockton Day Nursery. Uh, they will be having their 8th <coughs> annual Mardi Gras fundraiser. Um, that is going to be at the Shaw Center. Also $50 from 7 to 11. So people can say that Brockton has a lot of things going on. There are good fundraisers, good events, for people to have a good time and, and just relax and, and have fun. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Councillors, I, uh, I want to congratulate two of our colleagues, uh, Councillor Lodge colleagues, uh, Councillor Lodge uh, Moises Rodriguez, Councillor Lodge Shana Bonds. Yesterday I had the honor and privilege to... Uh, to attend uh, an event, uh, and I do say an event because the energy there was overwhelming. <laughs> uh, the New Life Church on, on West Elm Street honored our colleagues, uh, rightfully so, relative to Shana being the first African American woman elected to the City Council, and Moses being the first Cape Verdean elected to the City Council. It was a wonderful event. Gwen Knowles, uh, everybody knows Gwen Knowles was there, and it was just wonderful. So I really want to just congratulate you guys. 
Council, is there anything else before us? Mr. President, if I might. Councilor. Mr. President, I hereby move that the City Council go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, for the purpose of discussing strategy with respect to litigation involving the City Council pending in the Plymouth County Superior Court as an open meeting may have detrimental effect on the uh, litigating position of the City Council. Second. <coughs> Councilors, the motion's been made. It's been properly second. Uh, for the City Council to go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law, uh, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, for the purposes of discussing strategy with respect to litigation involving the City Council pending in Plymouth Superior Court. This legal action was commenced today, and I declare that an open meeting may have detrimental effect on a litigating position of the City Council. A roll call vote is required, Councilors. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. ASAC. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Panapoli. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Because the City Council were adjourned from the executive session, we will not reconvene an open session after executive session. Okay? Thank you. Meeting is hereby uh, concluded. The full meeting. Executive session is going to go.